Hi, I'm Kelly Ashton. I'm an educator for Handy Quilter, and we are in the Handy Quilter studio today, and we are going to talk about the Wiggle Wave template. The Wiggle Wave template is three inch by half inch, which means that it's three inches from peak to peak, and then half inch is the depth of the wave. But then on the bottom, you have another wave that's one and a half inches by one half inch. I love the wave rulers, and there are so many fun ways to use this. So. The, the tricky part is when you're using a ruler of this length, I really think it's beneficial for me to have the handy grip in place because it helps hold it as I line it up and move it across. So on the wave templates, we've got all kinds of um, gridded lines across here. And I like to use those gridded lines so that they can help me line up um, exactly a fourth of an inch above because the wave because the foot's going around the wave it doesn't line up exactly but your straight line lines up exactly across the bottom so I'm gonna I've got a straight line stitched right there and I'm going to choose one of the lines to line it up with and we're just gonna stitch across here really quickly it's it's a ruler that's longer than my hand so it's really important that I either walk my fingers down or I stop and adjust my hand so that my hand is always holding the ruler safely. And I'm gonna get to this last little peak right here. And on the ruler, it actually says needle stop right there with a half inch on the edge. And it says needle stop with a half inch on this edge. So I just need to line up that spot with my straight line across the bottom and my etched line across the ruler and it makes that wave continuous all the way across. You can't even tell that I paused and adjusted it. Now, I'm gonna go down one of my favorite designs with a wave is to have the waves undulating like they kind of gradually change. If you can see on the fabric there, it almost looks like it's waving at you. I think of like a waving flag or something like that. And I'm gonna come down here and there's a couple of things I use to line up this undulating wave with. And one is also the straight line. And then it also has vertical, vertical lines across the side. And I can move those vertical lines uh, so that they line up on this vertical stitched line. So I slide it over one and I slide it up one. And then it just keeps the waves just waving right across there. I've switched red colors, so I'm going to stop right there and adjust. Line up the, the, the etched line with my straight stitching line. Okay, well, that's not perfect. But that's how I adjust those lines so that they kind of just continually slide across like that. All right, well, that's one idea that you can do with your rulers, with the wavy ruler. Another one below it, what I actually did, I'm gonna cut my thread right here. We're not gonna look at those undulating lines anymore. One goes left and one goes right. That just gives it lots more character, right? Okay, so I'm going to just follow this wavy ruler across for that middle line, okay? I'm just using that to give me a nice symmetrical, I can stitch a wavy line all day, but it doesn't end up being very symmetrical. So if I use my ruler to give me my center symmetrical line, then when I come back this direction, I can free motion it and add that little circle or loop. And um, I'm not going for perfection here. I'm just a fun design to add across a border or even a background fill. You can just do these repeatedly and then I'm gonna go my third pass across the bottom, and on every high point, I'm gonna do that, that loop, and I'm just gonna slide it across like that. All right, so that's another fun idea. And then, right here, I just, I just did a smattering, just like a whole bunch of different wavy lines. I didn't use guidelines, I just stitched the wave down, I adjusted my ruler and stitched it back up, back down, back up, um, any kind of 
modern quilt or just fun kids there's lots of fun places you can just use geometric shapes and those wavy lines just add some fun texture to any different type of quilting place all right so on this design on the right right here this is where I turned it and I used the three inch by the half inch wave and I lined that up right there if you wanted to have them really specifically um, exactly a, the, the same distance from the edges you could also draw a center line right here and then just stitch down that wave it does I was going to say it does work better to echo it if you do the inside or lower one first and then move up or out because that allows me to use my last stitching line like I can hold the ruler right on my last stitching line and it gives me a fourth of an inch away from the edge so then I am holding it just like that and when I move to the other side I'm going to do the inside one first stitch down it and then I'm going to slide my ruler out a fourth of an inch so that it's right on that line I just stitched and then I'm going to echo it again and that gives me that it takes away the guessing game of whether I'm going to get a fourth of an inch or not so remember to do the bottom or the insides first and then it, it's easier to to echo okay so um, we, I love feathers and I like some unique designs in the center okay so on this particular feather I just wanted to create something interesting in the center or the spine of the feather so I used the big wave and I stitched I wanted a point at the bottom and a point at the top so I kind of needed to use the top point of the wave for my beginning and ending point so I stitched from here to here on the center of this feather, I used the, the bigger wave, the three inch by the one half, and I wanted to start and end with a point, so I used the peaks of those points, and I stitched about that far, and I wanted it offset just a little bit, so I slid the ruler down just a little bit and kind of echoed it with an offset echo, and I did it one, two, three, four, five times so that I could leave an open space, a densely stitched space, open, densely open. So you need to kind of, anytime you're gonna stitch something densely, it's nice to have it open on the other side so that it stands out. So that was the center of that feather. And with this one, I just wanted a wide open spine. So I just used the same wave and rotated it out like this so that I could have a wider wave like that. So with this one right here, I wanted to show you how well the wave works around a corner. It is very helpful if you have kind of a, a straight line drawn at an angle. And then when I line this up, I kind of want my peak of the ruler or just past the peak to be where we're gonna stop. And so I would stitch just like this to my center line and then I'm gonna choose the same just past the peak and I'm gonna finish it just like that. And then I'm gonna echo it because I did the inside first. I can easily echo around the outside just like that. And then the same for the inside. So, well, there's our wiggle wave ruler. I hope you've found some good ideas to use yours with, and I can't wait to see what you come up with with yours. Have fun quilting.